Hey, how's it going guys? So today I got another big box with a 3D printer in it. This is the ANET E10 off GearBest.com. This retails for around $300. There'll be a link in the description where you guys can get it a little cheaper. But the cool thing about this is it's mostly assembled. So this isn't going to take me forever to put together. So if you're somebody that just doesn't have the time to put together a 3D printer, maybe you've already done it before and you know you just want one that you, you, know, you don't have to put together. Or if you're just the type of person that isn't good at building stuff, this could be a great option for you. So I guess let's just uh, open this baby up. So yeah, pretty pretty big box, probably about 20 pounds or something, I don't know. Not too crazy heavy, but uh, yeah. Let's uh, cut this baby open. See here, maybe you guys can see this a little better. All right, so I was kind of right here first. So yeah, thanks again to GearBest for hooking it up. So this is, I believe this is a GearBest exclusive, and there's actually been a lot of controversy behind this because there's a very popular 3D printer called a CR10 made by Creality or something. But anyways, it's super popular. Everybody says it's like the best 3D printer for like around the $500 price range. Well, this is $300. And it's called the E10, the ANET E10. So it's got a very similar name, and it also has got a very similar look. But it's it's not the same size. It's not constructed the same. It's not really a clone of it because it's quite different. So you know, just don't you know, it's not the same. And I'm kind of I don't really even care about any of that stuff. So oh, check it out. Here's the whole frame. Most of it, yeah, it's already put together. But you see how it has these green things on it. This ER10 has like yellow ones or blue ones depending on which ones you buy. And it just got a lot of the same look to it. Also the frame on that one comes all put together as well as it has pretty much the same spool holder and stuff set up. But it, it by no means are, is it the same printer. Uh, it's, it's very very different. Here is the rest of the box. So we got you know power supply with it's got I think the the hot end and everything like right on it. So, <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, front piece to the screen or something. And then we got, oh crap, in here. We got the bed and, yeah, the Y axis, so. Yeah, so. It looks like it's not going to be too hard to put together. There is still some assembly, but you know, not not really that much. It also comes pretty nice, pretty nice little tool to scrape it off the build platform. So it's like a part to the spool holder. This is just 3D printed. Um, so I don't know. Some people might not like that because it's 3D printed, and this actually looks like. Well, actually, I mean, it's good enough where the threads work and everything, but it, it doesn't look that nice. Sometimes when I see 3D printed parts, though, that just makes me think, like, cool. Like, there's a lot of stuff on here that could be upgraded. Um, you know, and just, I, I feel like a lot of people will make their own ways to customize it and stuff. Uh, what else we got here? It's a little build platform. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, can't think of it. The name of my head, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, for the top of the bed for it to stick to. Uh, I'm used to using just glass and just going putting some hot glue, or not hot glue, uh, glue stick and just going straight on the glass. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, so I got to this build tech. That's what it's called, right? Build tech, yeah. It's 3M, so at least it's, you know, it looks like it's really nice quality. Here's the manual. Uh, it's in color. Let's see how the English is. Okay, first one is a bunch of danger warnings and here's all the all this crap if anybody cares. You know, pictures look really nice. It looks pretty simple to assemble it. You know, six pages opposed to most 3D printers that are like a million pages. So Okay, here's we got they come with a screwdriver with shit looks like it's Phillips or you can switch it to flathead, so you know, very cool. 
A uh, little card reader with micro SD. Probably has some of uh, the files on it to get it all set up. Uh, USB, they have like a hundred of these. The Bowden tube. Uh, whole set of Allen wrenches, so very cool. Comes with a spare hot end, and look at this. So, okay, here's all like the hardware. So let me open this up. So we got just a whole bag of spare parts. Spare <laughs> nozzle and everything. So yeah, this looks like these are the only ones you need. The rest are all just spare parts in case stuff breaks or something. But yeah, I mean, I'm very excited that it's not going to take me. You know, two days to put this thing together. So, yeah, so I'm gonna put this thing together and let's just start printing on it. And what I'm really concerned about is just how well it prints. Um, for $300, are you gonna be able to get a printer that's easy to put together and prints good? I guess we'll find out. Okay, guys, so we got it most of the way set up. We're just plugging in wires at this point and then we're gonna set firmware ready to go. But I saw a couple other reviews and a lot of people said, this head just has three rollers instead of four, and they said that this would just wobble. And I even saw people on their video, they would wobble it. But I think they messed this up on installation or something, because this is like rock solid. Like if I move it, the whole freaking frame, like blade, like right, grab that. Like it, it yeah, is, no, it's and not, also it's too, wobble. all these belts, you can adjust the tension, you can pull this back and make it tighter, but the belts all came with a nice amount of tension. They are just rubber belts, so they're not reinforced, so you could always upgrade those the better belts but you know the right stock from the factory these ones are really freaking tight and feel perfect and then this is rock solid so I don't know what the hell those people were talking and people were complaining that it has three rollers well uh, all like Delta printers all have three rollers on their arms on the, you know the ones that ride on the rails and theirs are fine so I don't know why it's a big deal but yeah so yeah I don't know what people are talking about because this is this is rock Rock solid, like it's 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 not like not shaking at all. Mm -hmm. so, so we're almost done. Let's finish this. Okay, guys. So it uh, powered right up. The display looks really nice. It's got the reset button right here. Uh, you put in the USB right there. That's also how we're going to be connecting it to the computer for the firmware. So yeah. Um. Yeah. My first impressions without printing it. I actually think this thing's pretty damn good quality for, you know, for three hundred dollars. You hardly have to build anything. Like, how long did this take us, Blade? Like 50, 40 minutes. Yeah, like no big deal. I only drank a beer and a half. I mean, come on. Okay guys, so I've had the printer for two days now. I've had time to have a couple prints on it. You already saw me print the Karam bit, which I dropped and broke the tip off of it, but still looks really cool. I could even sand that down, but I could print another one. But yeah, it turned out really, really good. This was my second print. This was my first print. So this vase, and it turned out really, really nice. Um, as you can see though, there is a little, little stringing to it when you look at it really up close. Far away, it looks, you know, looks pretty much perfect. Then I adjusted the layer height, and I was able to get this Darth Vader. And I think this thing looks awesome. So, the coolest thing about this whole printer, though, is right out of the box, once you put the frame, the little bit of the frame you have to put together, 
everything's already ready to go. The firmware is already installed, and it, it's ready to go. You don't have to do you don't have to do anything. The firmware, the board, and everything is enclosed in here. So I didn't have to do anything. The board, I didn't have to set up any electronics. It was very very easy. Um, I know some people might not like that these they had some 3D printed parts on it, which I can understand. But one really cool thing is on the provided SD card, they have all the 3D printed parts, so you could redo any of them and do them in any color you wanted. Or anything, so you don't have to download them from Thingiverse or anything. You know that they're the good files that came stock from the manufacturer. And yeah, just the whole, this whole display and everything works great. I don't have it powered on right now because we gotta get better lighting outside. I want to show you guys, but yeah, the, the, everything on here works great. This knob, at first, it was a little like it would get stuck in too much. So all I did was I put a little rubber O-ring between. If you take it off, you shove a little O-ring on the the female end. And it, it'll, it'll be perfect. Or you could even just put a little bit of hot glue or even crumble up, you know, a little piece of PLA or something. It'll probably be fine. But yeah, I just put a little buffer in there. And now the, the button never sticks. It works great. But yeah, in two days, to have this thing up and running as good as it, as good as it is, is amazing. Because most printers, you're going to buy, you're going to spend a whole day pretty much putting it together. And then you got to do the firmware, then all the tweaks. You know, by the time you get it, you get a couple prints, you're probably, you know, two days in. Uh, this within an hour I had it up and running and printing so that to me is just awesome a huge time saver for me uh, it depends I, I guess it depends how much your time is worth if you're somebody you know you like building stuff maybe you get the any cubic castle or get the a net a6 or something like that um, you know for this price range but say you're the person you, you know maybe it's your first printer you don't want it you're intimidated by building everything you want something just ready to go boom like that this is a great option it normally retails a little over $300. With the link in the description, you can get this for $279 only. So for a printer that's basically put together pretty much, ready to go, $279 is a great deal. This thing is also super quiet. You don't even hear it printing when it's printing. There's a fan in the control box, or the power supply, where you, you will hear it a little bit, but the printer itself is like so quiet. Definitely, out of all my printers, the most quiet, out of all my printers, the least amount of headaches I've had putting it together. And yeah, besides that I had to turn these the Z motors because the connection was hitting, so I just rotated the Z motors. That's the only modification I had to do to it at all. And it was just printing great. Um, to make it print a little better, all I did was just you know slow it down and uh, decrease the layer height. And that's pretty much something you do on any printer. So yeah, thegearbest.com, thank you so much for sending me this. This is... It was sent to me for free, but this is totally just an unbiased review. I know there's a lot of people that don't like this thing because it looks like a CR-10 and everything, but, I mean, it, it's obviously smaller than a CR-10. If you, they read the specs, the parts are different. To me, I don't care about any of that stuff. I, all I care about is how easy it was to put together and how well it prints. And it, so far, it got pretty much... the. Oh, I would give it a really... like I'd give it, like, a perfect rating if, it didn't, if these were injection-molded parts... And if it had a glass bed, but those are the only things I could think of. I could always add a glass bed to it. Um, yeah, they, that's no big deal at all. So, what a piece of glass costs, what, 10, 20 bucks on Amazon? But this build tech actually works great. You don't have to use glue stick or anything. And, and it's actually been quite nice just being able to just do it. You know, I don't have to put masking it down, I don't have to put a glue stick down. It just hairspray, it just prints great right on this build tech. So, that uh, was a very pleasant surprise. And yeah, like the SD card has all the parts for these so I could always print out these in green or something and customize it a little different so to me that's very cool so thanks GearBest again for sending this thing I hope you guys like the video and yeah until next time peace out